Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University and as part of getting started DynamoDB for Java developers. Um, in this video, I will be covering how to set up DynamoDB using AWS Web Console. For that, you have to log into the AWS and click on this cube after logging in. And if it asks you to, if it takes to the screen, you can just click on sign in if you are in uh, right account. And then as part of the services, DynamoDB is um, a NoSQL database. So under database category, there is this DynamoDB service. You can click on that. And then uh, it will list the existing DynamoDB tables. So you're you don't need to create the database. Database is already there, which, which will be supporting many clients. Uh, and at the same time, internally, it ensures that uh, your data is not accessed by other users by using uh, uh, some internal uh, uh, AWS security features, which you don't need to worry at this time. Click on create table. And here you need to give the table name. So let's say testing web cons on DG. And uh, here, so when it comes to uh, NoSQL database, it is, uh, uh, it is a key value type. Uh, and the data will be uh, sorted based upon the key. And uh, DynamoDB um, supports two types of keys. There are only two types of keys. And uh, it, it only supports three data types. And first, let us talk about key types. One is hash and range key, uh, key type for primary key. And uh, second one is hash. So what does that mean is uh, it supports um, uh, primary key type of single column, which is of type hash. And uh, the data type can be the string, number, or binary. And if you use hash in range, uh, that means you, 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 now you will be able to create a primary key, which is composite in nature and when you define these composite keys if you define a, it as hash and range then the leading column or the uh, first column from the left will be partitioned by hash and the second column within the, that hash will be uh, uh, will be range partitioned so these are the only two primary key types um, DynamoDB supports and uh, if you uh, if you decide to use only hash then uh, it will only take one column in this case you can define the data type if you choose to use hash and range then you can actually have two columns one with hash uh, one has hash attribute and the other one has range attribute so in this case i will just use hash and uh, let's say i want to uh, uh, use some string type as the primary key and uh, let me name it as t and hit continue so um, by default, data will be sorted on primary key and also data will be unique. Um, but uh, within the key value, uh, uh, within the key and value, as part of value, you can have flexible data model. You can have different number of columns for each of the uh, row in your uh, 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 NoSQL table. And if you want to create a secondary index, then you uh, you have to define those secondary indexes here. So, for example, um, let's uh, let's take the example of employee table, and let's say employee table have employee number, employee name, department, salary, etc. And if you uh, you can have employee number as the primary key, and the rest of the values um, uh, as part of the value, and if you want to index um, uh, index something like salary then uh, you can uh, create an index on that so there are two types of indexes global sec uh, global secondary index and also I think it supports local index also So local secondary indexes can only be defined. I think, uh, let me hit continue. No, somewhere it should ask for local. Uh, 
So what it is saying is local secondary indexes can only be defined at table creation time and cannot be removed or modified later. So local secondary indexes is within the column. I think it is only supported with uh, hash and range. So let us use this. Uh, let me say T1, T2 and hit continue. And now you can see local second index. So the purpose of local second index is when you use hash range partition, there can be many records within a given hash value. And uh, if you uh, if you want to create a local index for within that hash value, then you can choose local second index. I will come back to this later also. Uh, but for now, just remember that DynamoDB supports global secondary index as well as local secondary index. So for local secondary index, the table has to have the uh, hash range uh, uh, primary key, not just the hash primary key. And then you can decide uh, uh, what type of index you want to create. I will cover this later. I will not be creating index at this time. Hit continue and then it will ask about read capacity units and write capacity units. It is very important to understand uh, how much uh, read capacity and how much write capacity you, uh, you are supposed to use. Uh, so you can start with the minimum value and depending upon the performance if you want you can increase and uh, uh, the pricing will depend on this. Again I will cover about pricing later. For now just focus on how to create uh, the table using uh, uh, web console. Go ahead and hit continue. It will ask for additional options like if you want to get notifications based upon uh, uh, based upon uh, uh, certain rules like uh, uh, when the tables uh, request rates like read capacity unit or write capacity units is greater than one. In this case, I want to if if you want to get the notification so that you can take necessary action uh, on that uh, without causing any issues for the application then you can define those uh, uh, notifications here and also there is a concept of streams um, which I will not be covering as part of the getting started. Uh, so once you define all these things you can click on continue here it is required so I am giving my email id which is bigdatamentor at gmail.com continue and here it is a preview of what we are trying to do and uh, for this one it is only 59 cents per month okay and then hit create now the table will be created in a moment it will not take very long to create the table now the table is ready so you don't you didn't create the database it's very easy to create the table and once the table is created you can click on the table and click on explore table and then it will uh, 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 show you these options scan query so there are only two types of uh, read operations on DynamoDB uh, uh, scan and query uh, if there are any items you can actually perform scan or query um, if you want to create item you can click on this and it will only show the primary key and here let us say this is uh, A this is also A and I want to add the value for this uh, 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 for this uh, row key. Hit append, and I want to create a number numeric value. So let me say C1, which is the column name uh, uh, in that row key, and value is one. And I can add one more. Append. In this case, I would like to say B0 or b1 and uh, number 2 and then you can click on save and the record will be inserted into the table and if you want to look at the items you can click on uh, browse items and then uh, you can choose scan click on go and it will show you the records and if you remember uh, the way we have inserted, we inserted A for uh, column 1 and A for column 2 or T1, T2 columns. And uh, then actually at, uh, when we insert, I inserted C1 first and B1 next. But it, it changed the sorting order which means that within a row key of T1 and uh, of A, A for T1, T2, the column names will be sorted automatically. 
so that's why you see the sorting uh, 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 the data is actually sorted based upon the column names okay it is very important to understand this it is the behavior of most of the nosql databases the uh, irrespective of the order you try to insert the data will be sorted based upon row key first so in this case row key is based on t1 t2 columns and then within each row key the data will be sorted based upon the column names in this case data is sorted based on b1 and c1 even if you go through my hbase videos even hbase data also um, will work in the similar fashion now let us create another item so in this case let me uh, let me say a b and append and you can have uh, any type of remove append you can have any type of uh, uh, data type either string or numeric and even column names can be different in this case i am storing is s1 and uh, value 1 and then append you can even have string set and you can pass the address so you can you can have whatever you want so i'm removing this i will not go go into the complex types and now save it click on ok and browse items yes and click on go you can see that uh, data is sorted by um, um, by the um, by the row key uh, again uh, the actually the leading columns are based upon the hash algorithm so the data might not be sorted um, on the leading columns but in this case it has but when it comes to the value for this row key of capital a and capital b the uh, we have a different column uh, 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 different column altogether compared to the earlier row and it has value b1 of type string type so it is showing null for b1 c1 columns but for s1 we have v1 and if you see again the column names are in the appropriate order um, based upon the column name so this is how it will look like and it will not take any storage for these row keys wherever there are no values associated with it okay so this is how you can insert the data you can scan the data scan is like select star from uh, by default and if you want to apply filters you can apply filters also on scan um, uh, only uh, to enforce partial scans and then the, the other way uh, other method to re read the data is query in case of query you need to have the filter criteria in this case i want to uh, search for rows that have uh, uh, the leading column as a and the trailing column i can apply the these additional conditions like equal or less than greater than etc because it uses the range partitioning uh, but in this case i'm just using equal to and uh, I'm passing it as B and hit query and you can see the associated results. So there is only one type of uh, write operation which is uh, create item from uh, uh, web console. When it comes to command line it is put item which will cover later. And when it comes to reading data there are only two options scan and query. When it comes to scan you cannot apply uh, filters on the values but you can apply filter on uh, uh, you can apply filter on the row key. So in this case, if you want to apply filter on row key, you can just say t1 string equal to a and uh, hit enter. Yeah, start new scan and you can see the data. So you can apply partial filters um, uh, on the row key only with using scan. Whereas with query, you can actually you should be able to filter on the values also. Let me see how I can do that. Query sort. Okay, actually. No. 
you should be able to filter on i think the web console will not provide those features uh, but uh, programmatically you can actually filter on the values also so we'll see those things later so this is how you can actually interact with the dynamodb table very uh, easy to start uh, using uh, uh, creating the tables inserting the data and reading the data and the scan and query are very powerful compared to relational database because the data itself is internally partitioned and it will go to the appropriate partition and uh, get the data as quickly as possible because of this feature uh, wherever the scalability is the key for use cases like recommendation engines uh, the, these NoSQL databases using uh, this architecture can serve your purpose uh, with uh, linear scalability that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button and if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical question related to this video please use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will see a lot more content over time and the channel will get only bigger and better thank you bye